I noticed an interesting trend lately among videos released by Hamas that show militants attacking tanks. What's interesting is that they don't seem to do any BDA or battle damage assessment, so I'm not sure how effective the attacks actually are against Israeli equipment. And in some cases, I think of the use of the APS or active protection system, in this case the Israeli Trophy active protection system, is being used to mislead people into thinking that a vehicle was destroyed. Now, uh, I do know a, a little bit about anti-tank warfare. I mean, for, for 20 years, I was an anti-tank uh, and heavy weapons infantryman. Uh, later on, I was in the DECO, the Delta Companies, which in an infantry brigade combat team, every infantry unit has this uh, wheeled force that can be used to assault different positions or guard convoys or even attack tanks, fight tanks. Not for very long, but, but we can take a couple of pot shots at them with tow missiles. So I used to do that. So I, I, this is one of those topics that I feel pretty comfortable talking about. Now, I'm going to try to recut this for YouTube. I don't know if I'll be successful in this, but if you want to see the uncensored footage, it's on my substack, ryanmcbeth.substack.com. Now, you can get that down here. Now, normally when attacking a tank, there's, there's a rule of thumb. You shoot at it until it changes shape or it catches fire. Now, We've all seen flames shoot out of uh, the, uh, the turret hatches of, of Russian tanks in Ukraine, and that's called a K kill or a catastrophic kill. The other type of kill is called a mobility kill. It's usually easier to immobilize a tank with handheld weapons than it is to go for a catastrophic kill, especially these, these older handheld weapons like an RPG. So I want to show you this video first. And while you're watching it, I want you to think about what a nightmare it must be for Israel right now, where you literally don't know where any of these tunnels are. Uh, in the first part of the video, a militant literally crawls out of a hole in the ground. Also note how slickly produced this is, and I'll get to why I think that's the case at the end of the video. Okay, a couple of things. I'm not sure what this explosive is, although the text says Commando Action Package. So I think that this Commando Action Package was placed directly below the trophy system. Now, a little bit about this trophy system. The trophy is an active protection system. The idea behind it is that it will shoot down incoming rockets in mid-flight. The system on, is on the Merkava 4, and it's on some Namer APCs in, in Israel's arsenal. The system uses radar to detect incoming projectiles, and these transmitters are located around the tank that have clear lines of sight. The radars are all networked into a very powerful computer that can calculate this, this incoming warhead and where it's going to go in fractions of a second. And this, this heavy computing power is necessary because you need a computer to differentiate between a hit, a miss, a bird, some dude throwing a rock, and, and a missile that's, that's an actual threat. So once detected, the system will fire a projectile toward the incoming missile. And you know some people have likened it to a giant shotgun, but that, that's not entirely correct. It's more like several small explosively formed projectiles that are designed to disable the incoming missile rather than actually e exploding the missile. So it'll disable it or hopefully knock it off course. Now, supposedly, there's a safety feature that allows you to designate safe lanes for infantry. It's even in the brochure. Predefined safety zone for friendly troops. So, one of the things that a lot of people said on Twitter when they watched this video was, uh, where is the Israeli infantry? And I don't have a good answer for that. I don't know. I don't know if infantry support wasn't available, or they were available, they were just out of frame, 100 meters behind, or maybe the commander had a tight timeline to meet me, he just couldn't wait for the infantry. Uh, there is what doctrine says you should do, and there is what you need to do by a certain time hack, and you just got to suck it up and deal with it. Now, another thing that people said was, you can't have the infantry operate in your trophy. Well, the, the brochure says you can, but I, I know as an infantryman, I, I feel kind of squishy, and I don't know if I necessarily trust the tankers to set up those safe zones, and what happens if you step out of that safe zone? So, you know, I, uh, I wouldn't put too much trust in the, in the safety zone of, uh, of trophy, uh, no matter what they say in the brochure. You know, they're, they're trying to sell the thing, right? Um, so let, let's get back to the actual video. 
uh, the militant sets the charge, and then they run back to their position and they fire an RPG at the tank. So I think that the idea was that the explosive would damage the active protected system first, and then it would give the RPG a better shot at penetrating the tank. Now the video shows an explosion and they freeze frame on it, but it doesn't seem like a catastrophic kill or, or a K kill. And the act, that might have been the actual active protection system kicking in and actually destroying that warhead. We don't know because this is only one frame of video and the militant wisely turns around and runs away. Uh, so there's no way of getting BDA or battle damage assessment. So the warhead might have impacted on the tank or the active protection system might have shot the thing down. We really don't know. But there is no catastrophic kill. There is no battle damage assessment to, to go off of. Um, but this video is enough to convince people who don't know anything about tanks that uh, this tank may have been destroyed. And I've said before in my videos, Israel is losing the propaganda war. This war is going to give Hamas a lot of B-roll footage to use in recruiting and in fundraising. So next, uh, we have a video of militants moving through the street and they encounter an armored vehicle. I'm not sure what armored vehicle this is. Uh, the actual file said it was uh, Hamas destroying a Merkava 4, um, but I, I, I don't believe that is the case and I, I don't believe it's, uh, it was actually destroyed. So let's watch the video. Freeze frame on the explosion, but there's no catastrophic kill that we can see. And I think in this case, the act protection system may have actually shot down the projectile. So I, I believe this video is most likely deceptive. But the video works. It doesn't have to be true. All you need to do is have people post it and accept it as fact. And that's kind of where we are right now in this war. Hey guys, uh, this is my job now. If you want to support the channel, I would love for you to subscribe on Substack. It's only five bucks. You get access to a lot of uh, content that you can use for hip pocket training, especially if you're in the military. You can also go buy my a very NORAD Christmas sweater. It's available at Bunker Branding. It features a, an American F-15 and a Canadian CFS, CF-18 uh, escorting Santa on Christmas Eve. Uh, there's also my new uh, Ryan Macbeth in action figure. Uh, which uh, even comes with a trading card. It's a great gift for someone who loves the channel, and you can get that at knifehandcompany.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh man, I'm so bored! Christ on crutches with a permanent profile. That's because you have the wrong toys. You need a Ryan Macbeth in action figure from the Knife Hand Company. That's right, Ryan Macbeth in action figures go everywhere. Put them on your desk, your Crocs. Your keychain! You can even ask Ryan advice. Ryan, why does daddy ignore me when I'm over his house for the weekend? Because your new mommy is way hotter than your old mommy. Trading cards, you get a free trading card in every box. Now that's Ryan Riffic. So come on down to the Knife Hand Company and get your inaction figure today. Alcoholism, cigarettes, and non-service connected hearing loss sold separately.